Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Brought to you by the power of eccentric. But anyway, let's check out the city of Danau, or... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that correctly. I'll just go with what I said. Oh, wow, Flower City. Do they have a flower girl here? Let's find out. How's it going? Yes? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, oh, sorry, you, you were talking about someone else. Sorry, I, I get that a lot. Well, yeah, we did just go through the desert without a horse with no name. Yeah. And someone might think you were a king if you didn't have shit all over you. Or if you did. Or whatever. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's just that you're the best looking girl around. Nope. Not saying it. We weren't being insolent. We were just being foolish. Ordinary foolish. Someone was asking, H.E. Bailey, where was Dart holding the Dragoon Spirit that allowed the or allowed Mappy to steal it? And based on the scene when he was transforming the first time into a Dragoon, I'm guessing it's like clasped onto his chest plate or like somewhere around his solar plexus. Maybe a little above that. That would be my guess. Although... Why you would put that something that valuable in in plain sight, I don't know. Mil Sasso? I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I'll be honest, I, it sounds like a French word to me. Uh, French is not one of my strong subjects. Even though my heredity is French, but... And my names are spelled that way. Nice. Oh, hey, is that who I think it is? What are you doing here? Well, it's kind of hard because you're in his way, it looks like. Please, continue. You were saying something about bad intentions? And he doesn't care who he wants to be badass to, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You guys were about to run away. What are those guys anyway? I mean, I know they're the I know they're the bandits, but are they like bird people or something? I don't know. I don't think they ever explain that. They kind of look like they have a beak and they're like cawing like a crow or something. Maybe they're crow people. I, I, seriously, I don't know. I don't think they ever say anything about that. Hmm, I wonder what he saved her for. I would say maybe he's not such a bad guy after all, but he did kind of brutally murder a lot of people and manipulated a war. So, maybe he's just manipulating this whole situation. I don't know. I, I don't think they ever directly say so. But that would that's just my guess. Maybe it's just a crazy fan theory or something. Not a fan of, well, fan theories. I'll be honest with you viewers. But anyway, okay, well, let's take a look around. And in this little water fountain, I guess, or pot, I don't know, we get a secret stardust. We should have 26 now. Good, good. Oh, there was something I forgot to do back at, uh, where was it? Flet's there. Yeah, we could have met up with Martel there. Well, I mean, I'm going to be going back there soon anyway. But, and it's not really critical. The reward you get out of it is not that great. But I use it every now and then. 
Well, they can speak English, evidently. Oh, we're, we're not with the bandits. We just came here to collect the hero tax. What do you mean you don't have any treasures around here? Seriously, there is no treasure to find around here other than a, a couple stardust, and that's it. No chests or, or anything like that. Or at least, not as far as I know. But yeah, what's going on? Well, that wasn't too long ago. Ah, who's Lynn? Oh, well then, you should do that. I don't see the problem. What's going on? Oh, well, yeah, shouldn't you tell him? That would be kind of important. Or we could do it for you anyway. We need more reasons to kick their ass anyway. Well, not really, but we're going to anyway. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's take a look around. They got some good stuff here. Oh, well, okay. Are you like a security bandit or something? Or just watching around or something? The place does seem awfully nice looking, considering that it's apparently being run by bandits. Oh. They seem to be looking pretty damn well to me. But anyway, let's head on up here. Let's see what we got. Hey, how's it going? Uh, who? Oh, oh, okay. Well, never mind that. Where did she go? She's not here anymore. Maybe she went back home, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Suppose so. Well, the other guy was telling us about her. Oh, okay. Never mind. Everyone seems to be confusing us for someone else, evidently. That's what? What's it? We'll let you... What? Is he, like, paying them off or something? Or... I don't know. They never really go into that. Or what the bandits are really doing here. I mean, okay, they say, We own the place! And... Uh, okay, so... What's going on with that? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. It's probably not that important. But anyway, let's see. The item shop here. Let's see, I want to make sure I've got one of each of all those. And I never use Rave Twister. I don't think there's any boss fight where there's, like, multiple parts to a boss or multiple enemies or whatever that are weak to win. I, I, I never use it. So I wouldn't bother with that. Unless you don't have any... Uh, what are those? Spinning Gales that I've already bought. But you could just go back to Lohan and buy them anyway. But anyway, okay, as long as we're here, let's upgrade our equipment a little bit. Definitely get a Silver Tiara for Shana and... Or, Silver Vest for Tiana. Or, for Shana. I'm getting all my syllables mixed up. And then I want to get a regular Tiara for Shana and Rose there. The nice thing about that is that it boosts your magical accuracy by 10%. And that's pretty critical for defeating certain special monsters later on in the game. So you definitely want to have at least two of them. Let me make sure I bought them. No, I didn't. Let's get another one there for Shauna there. Eventually, I will want to have two TRs anyway. And by the way, the reason why I'm buying stuff, even for characters that I never use, is either just in case I change my mind, or for 
limited circumstances where we do need to use certain characters. But really, as long as you keep up everyone on their equipment, even if you never use them in battle or build up their additions, you'll still be able to get by. I mean, it won't be obscenely easy, but you'll be fine. Because uh, reserve party members, they still accumulate experience. They get half the experience of regular party members, your active ones, but it's never really a huge concern. Well, let's see what else is going on around here. Oh, who did you report it to? You're not going to tell us, are you? What's that guy doing there? I don't know. I guess he just needed a place to stay or something. You're all doomed. Doomed! Ah. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Shouldn't you, I don't know, have soldiers or security officers or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder why they have all these churches in the game anyway. I suppose there's nothing wrong with it, but there's, like, no function to them in the game. Like, a Dragon Quest where you cure status ailments or revive people or something. Or, well, we got the clinic for that. Oh. Well, if you're going to be his bodyguard, shouldn't you be in the same room as him? I, I don't know. Call me crazy, but if I were a bodyguard, I would think that would be a good thing to do. Okay, well, let's head on over here. See if we can find the mayor around here somewhere. And hopefully I will be able to get around that lady before she gets in my way. Ah, well, you're kind of within earshot of the guy. Okay, keep going. Yes, okay, phew. For once, the NPCs just didn't get in my way. Or at least for a long time. Now let's see what we can find here. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. A phantom ship and a JRPG? Perish the thought. Or a ghost ship, or a ghost train, or whatever. Every JRPG has to have a ghost area. Ah. Huh. Well, that's weird. Well, that's supposed to... The gang is named after him, seems. Maybe you should charge them for drinks? Or give them drinks for free until they get so drunk that they can't stand up anymore. Whatever works for you guys, though. Yeah, it seems like they got a nice little... I don't know, what is this, like a port or something? Oh, what's going on? Oh, this is like a bay or something. Huh. Well, it's not our problem. Nope. Never gonna see those areas, ever. Oh, um, yeah, it looks nice to me. I mean, we don't have a ship or anything, but... Ah, man, everyone keeps on talking about this sea dragon. Huh. Well, sadly, we don't have water elemental character to help take command or anything, so... Oh, well. Okay, let's, uh... If I can get out of here, I would like to be able to visit the mayor. Okay. Yes! Okay. Oh, there's a little dog down there that's kind of blending in with the background there. Not that the dog says anything, but... Ah, well, thank you. You don't look suspicious, even though you don't look like anyone else in the game. But yeah, you guys must be heroes. Anyway, this is the mayor's house. Ah. Oh, okay, what's he doing? Yeah, his kid is kind of getting into trouble. I wonder what the mayor thinks he's doing anyway. I mean, he has to at least think that his son is safe if he doesn't know what's going on.
an idiot. Well, now what are you going to do about it? Oh, well, okay. Bye. See ya. We're totally not going to be recruited to solve their problems for them. Well, they're around here, evidently. Oh, what an amazing name for a, a dungeon. Huh. Well, evidently, they seem to be able to do it. Is his name actually Butler? I mean, that seems like a good name to me, being from Chicago myself. Uh, haven't they already taken over the city? Maybe they're just talking trash, like, we own this city, or something, even though they don't really have any actual power or something, I don't know. Well, we're not exactly on the payroll, but we can volunteer. But all right. So yeah, once you talk to those guys, go up here into this, I don't know, what is it? Like a sink or something? I don't know. And we get another secret stardust. So, all right, 27. Well, let's get out of here and well, find a way to get over to the valley there that th those guys were talking about. Whoa going on here? Well, calm down, guys. Oh. Okay, sure. What's going on? Whoa! It's a... Uh, little girl but as we all know the younger you are the more powerful you are in a JRPG absolutely well so far so good yeah you see it looks like those guys have beaks or something But yeah, I suppose we never really get a good look at them. Paying you what? Don't answer that, viewers. Hey, how's it going? Whoa! That's a big hammer. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe Lloyd is cross-dressing! No. No, probably not. I hope not. That would be scary. What do you mean, groupies? How's it going? Ah, well, nice to meet you, I suppose. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. How important can she possibly be with a unique character sprite? Oh, well, I don't know if he needs rescuing, but if we see him along the way, we'll pass him a note. Oh, yeah, I suppose so, evidently. Sounds like a plan. Oh, well, no, that's probably because you're a half-naked girl. With a big hammer. What? What do you mean? Just because you have a unique character sprite? Yeah, it's in the valley they were talking about. I wonder if that typo it was intentional. She said Mel of a Hesk. 
kind of a place. That had to be intentional. They, they, they couldn't have made or typed that that poorly. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, she is a half-naked girl. Does that mean she's one of the most powerful party members in the game? Spoiler alert! She is! More party members! She's going to be one of my long-term party members. She is really, really good. She, she has the highest innate speed stat in the game. 70! To counterbalance that, though, she doesn't have that much attack power or strength, but her addition multipliers more than make up for that eventually there. So, yeah, we're going to be bringing her into the party to replace Rose on the way back to... Well, we got to go back to Flet in order to get permission from the king to go into the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!